What's up, everybody? It's Nerp here, and today we're gonna do some judgment. I uh, haven't done judgment in a while, I don't think. I don't know. I don't know when these videos are being uploaded and like what order they're being uploaded in. So, uh, I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, I'm playing my other account, my alt account, because my main account is in the middle of a judgment run. So, yeah, just went 5 0 on this uh, last judgment run, so that's pretty good. Let's see. Hopefully we get something that's not energy because I can't remember the last time I played Judgment without drafting an energy deck. And so far it looks like we're an energy. Well not really, I mean none of these rows have any energy cards, but this row has three very good energy scrolls. And down here I see... I guess Ducal Infantryman and Frost Girl are pretty good. This Corpus Collector, a Meyer Curse. Well, do we want to take the dispersal of the Thea? Personally, I'd rather have the dispersal. Yeah. Um. Here, I will take the Ducal Infantryman. See what happens. Um. I guess we can go Meyer Curse or Corpus Collector. Those are the two better cards in this row. And I'd rather take the creatures, so I'll take the Corpus Collector. We're not, they're kind of all over the place in this trap. He's like, you see three good scrolls in a row, but they're all in the same faction. Like, so you can only pick one of them. Like, I wish I could have all three of these cards down here. Um, let's take the Husk. Uh, looks like we are in Decay the most, because there's a Rot Eater down here, which is good. Here I'll take the bog hand then. Um, there's good growth stuff out in here. So I think I like Earthworm Mystic over the Fang Bear, so I'll take the Earthworm Mystic. I see a Crimson Bowl, a Brave slash Sister of the Owl, and a Frost Scale, so we might be in growth. And we have an Earthworm Mystic. Maybe we'll have a dual color. But let's take the Rot Eater here. There's a burn. Oblivion Seeker though. We're not in energy really, we only have Val Dispersal. Um, I'd rather take the lower drop, right? Yeah, the Brave. Yeah, I'll take the Brave. We don't have any orders, so I'll take the Crimson Ball. I think we'll, we might be a Decay Growth deck. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, there is a Miasmal, which is, could be good. Bitterroot and Mangy Rat are decent in Judgment, but Trust is really good. And then here I'll probably take the Oblivion Seeker, or, yeah, the Oblivion Seeker over the better. So I'll take the Oblivion Seeker, and then, then there, oh, it returns to nature, that can be growth uh, decay ramp. So let's go like this, and there's another Bog Town, which is good, and a Brave, or a Soul Steel. I'll probably take the Soul Steel. Um, return to nature it does have Taxing 1 on it, but if we only have one on the deck, it's not going to be a big deal. Or Languid, nah, we got to take the Return to Nature. Removal is so good. Um, Bog Hound, we have a Ripper. We're definitely have more decay than growth. I'll take the soul steel over the brave. And here I'll take the ripper over the brother of the wolf. Let's see if we can get like a witch doctor. That'd be awesome. Um, I guess berserker here because nothing else is growth or decay. Um, same thing with monstrous brood here. Um, same thing with brother of the wolf here. Not getting many options now. Now we have berserker or a void gate. Oh, it's a Witch Doctor and Harvester. Oh, why do these have to be in the same row? Um, let's, let's see. Voidiate or Berserker? Berserker, we already have one Berserker. We're getting some good growth drops, but our Decay drops are a little better. But Voidgate just isn't that good. Voidgate, you're basically, you're getting... You're getting an ultimate wall that you can't break through without a quake or rumble or like direct damage. You can't, you can't break this wall with combat damage, so nothing's gonna be able to destroy behind it. But you're just giving up an idol. So for that reason, I'll take the berserker. Hmm. I guess malevolent gate is better fault. There is not much down here. Oh, there's a cursed presence. Oh, that got buffed a little bit, right? Um, Witch Doctor or Harvester? Ooh, there's a Curse Monger or an Earthborn Mystic. I'll take the Curse Monger though. I gotta take the Witch Doctor over the Harvester. Do I have a lot of humans? I do have some growth humans. Yeah, I gotta take the Witch Doctor. Um, Curse Pros, what's it even do now? It, it got buffed. Uh, 
Okay, so. Curse of two. Okay, yeah. Curse of this isn't that bad if I can get some poison. So let's take that. Curse Monger over the Earthworm Mystic. This is a very good row. Four very good cards. So we'll take the Curse Monger. Here, I don't know, I'll just take the Kabonk, see if we're gonna use it. Um, champion or a Brother Wolf? We don't even have, well, we have a Brave, right? We have one Brave, so I guess a Champion Room would be good on him, but I think it's better to have another Brother of the Wolf, another human to put down next to that Witch Doctor. So let's do that. And here, there is a Crone Monstrosity or Brain Lice. Crone's good human for the Witch Doctor. Oh, there's a God Hand here and a Breaker. Um, but I'll take the Brain Lice because we do have a Curse Monger and we have, um, whatever it's called, the, uh, the curse presence. So I'll take the brain lice. Liquid being might come in handy. What does unstable do again? Ah. The chance unit is destroyed. Okay. So I'll take the uh, wicked being. Who knows? Maybe it's gonna be like a pseudo loyal darkling. Win me the game. Uh, there's an Oblivion Secret down here, that's good. And I guess Brother Wolf here. Now, do I take the Oak Blood, God Hand, or Breaker? How many creatures do we have? A lot of creatures, I think. We have six gro Oh, all our creatures are from my growth, but we do have a bunch of K. Um, I don't think we're going to get to God Hand territory. Maybe we will, I don't know. But we do have Wild, so it wouldn't be that hard to get there. We'd only need to get to, like, four growth. And we're already getting up to three growth to play the five drops. Okay, so let's take the God Hand. I know Oak Blood's really good, but it could just be like remove the damage curse. But then again, Mount Special doesn't even remove it anymore, so it's gonna be pretty good in judgment, Oak Blood. Nah, I wanna take God Hand for the finisher. Brother of the Wolf, Oblivion Seeker, Rot Eater over the Brother of the Wolf, um, Best Room or Crimson Bolt. I will take the Fester Freak. I want more poison. Um, Berserker or Sharing Jackals? I'll take the Berserker. Uh, Outcast Robe might as well. We already have a might as well, don't we? We do, but we don't have much poison, actually. I'd like to get like an Infectious Blight or something along those lines. We do have a lot of creatures, and I would like more humans. I'm not going to deny that. You know what, I'm just going to take the, the, uh, we might actually be Mono Decay if we only draft Decay Scrolls for the rest of the time, which isn't going to happen. Let's take the Outcast Rubble, slow drop. Um, veteran down here. I guess I'll take the Great, or the Verdant, uh, the Great Wolf. Yeah, I'll take the Great Wolf. I might not use it, though. Um, I uh, guess try to bond life by default. Uh, veteran over the Steering Shackles. Veteran's amazing. Binding Root is good for like pseudo removal. Uh, Uneasy Alliance. Myers Shower. Mangy Rat. Pillar of Disease. There's a Ragged Wolf down here. And there's not much over here. Morbid Curiosity. Morbid Curiosity cost 5 when, uh, when it came out. But it had to be buffed all the way to 2. And it's still not being used really. Um, I'll take the... Myers Shambler. Uh, Morbid Curiosity. Ragged Wolf. I don't know. Essence Feast, I guess. Husk. And this procedure Eclipse. I mean, it'd be good if there was like Eclipse for growth so I can get to the God Hand really fast, but I'll just take the Viscera Sage. Okay. So I don't think that was too bad of a draft, and we did, we did something that's not energy, so that's good. Uh, let's see, what do we definitely want? Uh, we might not we definitely want those hospitals. Let's see. Eh. Let's put down those two. I want the curse presence. That could be fun to use. I think I'm going to put most of these decays, this decay stuff in. Even though we have a lot of nice growth stuff, we'll, we'll, we'll try to reduce this stuff after. It would be nice to get a monstrous brood on the oblivion seekers. That would be fun next to that witch doctor or rod eaters we'll see let's see growth stuff that we definitely want ragged wolf breathe 
Mystic. If Mystic can keep drawing um, brain lice, holy cow, it's amazing. Um, God Hand, Veteran. Yo, know let's 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 edit this a little bit. Let's go only. Let's try to go only humans. Let's say I got the husk. One second. Sorry about that. Um, let's take out the Myers Shambler. Let's see. Let's take out cards that we don't absolutely want. We don't need the curse rest. We have a lot of good scrolls in here, so I want to just get like the best stuff. Let's put in. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and put in the Great Wolf because we do have a lot of nice scrolls. So we have a lot of. We, I'm not even sure what we want to go for first because our Decay has really good scrolls. So does this. Let's go for that, and let's go for the Crimson Bull. So now let's take out three scrolls. Do we want anything here? No. Let's take out three scrolls. We have 25 creatures of our 33 scrolls. We don't need this many creatures. Let's take out the Outcast Rubble. Let's go ahead and take out... Um, the Miasma Well. Our only like poison is the Festering Freak and the Brain Lice. It's not that much. And malevolent gaze maybe take out. Sure. Okay, well this is gonna be the deck. Let's call it. I don't know. It's, it has more decay scrolls, but the growth scrolls actually it's, it might be close because I have three of like the brother of the wolf and three of the breaker. Um, not breaker. Uh, berserker. Let's just call it decay growth. I'm, I I don't mind going for either of these resources first because the growth has like the more powerful creatures, but the decay is that witch doctor. So let's see. Hopefully we can get a match really fast. Please find a match really fast, please. So, I, if um, probably just gonna have an annotation on the screen to tell you what minute, like what time to skip to, to when I find a match, or there'll be like a link on the screen to click on, so you just zoom right to the when the match starts, because uh, I mentioned this in other videos, like the um, the amount of time it takes to produce a video is like increased fourfold when I have to edit it. And if I don't have to, I don't have to edit it. If um, if I just keep the match waiting time in, and hopefully this is not too long. So I'm gonna get a microphone now. I will uh, I will be back when this starts, and there'll be annotation on the screen if it's a long wait. So if it, if there's no annotation on the screen, it's gonna pop up, and that means that just sit tight for probably like 10 seconds or something.
Well, that was a little bit annoying, but we finally found a match, so um, there'll be an annotation on the screen to skip to that point. And let's see what we can do here. All right, whoops, the sound was off. All right, there we go. And do we want to keep the starting hand? Sure, yeah. Okay. So we'll go turn to Bogham and then get to the curse monger. Hopefully I can get a uh, get a witch doctor out. Thomas H C And he goes for order, okay. So hmm. Maybe I just wanna go for like now we're gonna go for decay first. I really only wanna go to like four decay. Yeah, I think I try to stop at four. Do, 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 do. Come on, play like a a Sinmark Zealot. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess I'll sacrifice the Brother of the Wolf for decay. Move down. Hope I can kill you next turn. Okay, so I won't be able to kill you. Let's sacrifice the brother wolf for K, and I just did that twice in a row because I sacrificed the other brother wolf for K. I guess I'll save the return to nature for like next turn. And put the curse monger up here. Okay, so at least he's killing our non-human. And it looks like we'll start going into some growth. And hopefully I can ramp up pretty quickly because I have a return to nature, which will be able to destroy that uh, infantryman. But he has a nice strong start. Three good creatures out on the board. So I'm a little bit worried. And now I'm going to sacrifice the... I do like that Oblivion Seeker. I'll sacrifice the Mystic for... I think it's better if we just get the Oblivion Seeker out, right? Yeah, let's just get the Oblivion Seeker out. I don't love doing that, but I think it's the best play. Uh, I should have moved up because of the Wings Captain. You can move everybody up. But that's if he has any CDR. But he doesn't, but he does get another good creature on the board. Crimson Bowl, we will sacrifice for scrolls. And good. We can just go with a RTN and curse. You. Shall curse you. And. Let's, let's let him poison himself. That'd be fun. Okay. Sorry about those little noises on my mic. I'm getting a new one soon. And we'll probably sacrifice the god hand. And hopefully play something. So he gets another good wings unit out. So far he's only had very strong some strong scrolls and he is going to get he's not going to get poisoned okay fine i wish this was like a blight bear i could just like so i could poison like a whole row um let's sacrifice the god hand for scrolls and i get a visitor stage that's good i mean you're gonna have two move anyways if uh if you had a blessing so let's just move down Hopefully I can get a Witch Doctor. That would be a huge game changer. If I can get a draw Witch Doctor, like relatively soon, like now, <laughs> then I'm going to be much better off. Those Berserkers I can't really play just yet, so I'm probably going to have to sack them for scrolls if I don't get anything better to play. I'm really sorry about my mic here. Just hold your ears for a second. But when I hit the... If anyone doesn't have a way to fix this, like when, whenever I move around a little bit, like the wire on my microphone just like if it hits something like makes like these crackling sounds the only way I can 
I can limit that is if I like just don't move. Um, ooh. Well, that was on cue, wasn't it? Perfect. Witch Doctor time. And. Pestering Freak deals damage to a creature. That creature is poisoned. So let's go ahead and poison you then. Because you're going to deal damage to it. Let's do it. Let's do that. And that was pretty big. Awesome. Big turn there, the top deck that Witch Doctor. That's what I like to see. And now I will sacrifice the Berserker. Probably for scrolls. Or if there's like a I mean I suppose like a three cost growth creature to play. Remember, this deck was almost all creatures. So I don't have any like fuzzy business besides a god hand. So we're just gonna have to fill up this board. And this witch doctor is gonna help a lot because it's gonna be hard for him to take me down. Hopefully it doesn't have like a flip right now. If he flips that witch doctor right there, or I'll be kind of upset. And he doesn't. He's a lot of cards though. I'm surprised he's not uh ramping up some more order. Looks like he's playing like a tempo order. And he is staying away from this, which is wise because uh I have a curse monger on the field, so I can, the poison can really hurt. Um, I guess I crushed the great wolf. Hopefully, I get something I can play, and I do get stuff I can play. Awesome! Top decking like a boss, and I'm gonna move in. Actually, I don't see the point in moving in. I don't have to move in. I'm just going to. Uh, I'd rather you kill him, so, so I'll move you down. I'd like you in the front. I'm gonna put a Corpus Collector over here. So we are filling up the board quite fast now that we got that Witch Doctor down. If we did not top deck that Witch Doctor, this game could be well over by now. I would like to get more growth. But it's not that easy getting that much growth. I mean, the return to nature did help. Okay. Halfway through our deck. He's gonna have to either poison himself or show that Oblivion Seeker kinda soon. I can just keep moving down if I want to. Hopefully he doesn't have flips or pothers, which Probably does. He keeps sacrificing for scrolls. Interesting. Should really start ramping up. Maybe he's like fishing for a flipper or a pother, which then I wouldn't blame him because the witch doctor is a huge deal that you gotta uh, deal with as soon as you can. Okay, so maybe it's like a focus so he can take down um, that uh, curse monger in the back, which is kind of disappointing. Maybe I didn't position them that well. Shouldn't have let my person longer be able to be destroyed. Interesting, he did not draw the scroll from the that uh, from the knight's color first, because you want to get the scroll before you play. And he's heck, now he's wrapping up a little bit. And what's he gonna do? Focus, I assume, to destroy both humans right there. Or did he run out of time? Nah, it's just the time's a little glitched out. And he doesn't. Okay, I'm very happy with that. He poisons himself. I can. Now play the Oblivion Seeker, and I'll sack this for and I can curse him. So you're going to... I want... I could just attack you right now with you anyways, and you're going to die. Let's move down so we can start taking a little less idle damage. He's not going to have any... Um, any... Units with... Uh, any Relentless units attacking next this coming turn. So that's good. Let's move down our guys... And I'd rather him destroy this Oblivion Seeker, so I'll put the Oblivion Seeker down there. And we don't need to use Ragged Wolf this turn. It wouldn't do any good. Okay. Awesome. So let's see. 
So he's a little bit of energy now from that, uh, from that, uh, whatever that card's called. Efficiency, is that what it's called? I think so. But, um, we don't even know if he has an energy scrolls item. He might just put that card in the deck for a, a little extra attack buff if he needs it. So we'll see. We're just still hoping he doesn't have, like, a flip. Okay, so he's second for a while. So. Mm -hmm. And he's moving up, it looks like. So at least we're going to get a bunch of cards out of these Oblivion Seeders, it looks like. Which we kind of need, because we want to ramp up into more growth now. Machination Mats. Ooh, hopefully he doesn't have able to kill me. Aw, oh, man, he's going to kill... Wait, no, is he? He needs something else. Oh, now he does it. No, yeah, he does it. Darn. Ah. That's a big play. But I got a ton of cards now. My deck recycles kind of soon. Okay. Um. So, yeah, we have a lot of cards now. Uh, I guess we're going to attack for growth. Um, right now, I want to play the Soul Steel. Okay, let's sack the Ripper for growth. And now I'm gonna Soul Steal all that so I can use this Corpus Lord to kill uh, to kill this thing right here. So even though I got a nice play there, I think we could still do this. I wish I had this Trizo and not the Oblivion Seeker down there because the four health would have been crucial to keeping that thing alive. So that's good like that. I'm gonna put this guy back here and draw a card for killing the infantryman. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to place down a a ragged wolf right here and then you're gonna play a rot eater right in the middle I think that that seems like the best play I could do and yeah not too bad and I'm gonna get a husk spawn right there to keep that spot open so that a husk can spawn not too bad so even though we lost a witch doctor we were able to fill ourselves back up and we killed a bunch of his units. But this thing is a real problem. Too bad I don't have like a damage curse. Crown of Strength Machination Mindset. Yeah, he's kind of a big deal. Ah, uh, it's pretty big. If he didn't have that countdown increase, that'd be tough. Okay, so he does protect it. And there's not much we could do about it. We're just going to have to take it. Take a big hit. And we don't have much attacking. Really wish. Oh, I really wish this. He didn't get that counter increase. Because I could curse and then brainless. Arc. Uh, let's go for more growth. Or wilds, I should say. Uh. Okay, so let's sacrifice the bog hound for wild let's brain lice you get rid of that relentless dude we don't want to have to deal with multiple relentless dudes that would be the worst right let's go ahead and kill you and I can get both of these dudes down the rod ears are going to be pretty darn important because they are going to uh, really get buffed up because of the relentless damage. They'll absorb a lot of it. Yeah, they'll absorb a bunch of the damage. So I'm still filling up the board, so I still like our position in this match. So this guy's relentless. He can choose what row he wants to destroy, basically. But hopefully I'll get bigger rot eaters. Too bad my rod eaters aren't my little so. And next turn I can start going with the Kinfolk Veteran. Okay.
so we can start going with Kinfolk. The deck recycles now, so now I can draw my Witch Doctor again. I have so much stuff on the board that my deck only has like 20 cards to cycle now. So, yeah. Thomas is in a bit of a jam now, Beast, even though he has that awesome dude right there. He's probably going to die next turn. And there's, it's not like he he can, like, unless he has, like, another, he can bless him and base him and, have, and then do two Machination Mindsets and, like, completely wreck the board. He's kind of in a rough spot. A Mega and a Speed, if he has, it would be awesome. Do it right, uh, put it right, like, here. And then destroy you, 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 and you. That would be amazing. If he has a Mega and a Speed, then well played to him. Okay, so that's gonna be seven relentless damage. And is that all he's gonna? So, um, pretty good. That's all he's able to do. And we should be able to take it him down. I'll play the veteran because I think yeah, I'll put, I'm gonna need the veteran here because so I'm gonna do this is gonna pretend this is six health. He's when this dies, that's gonna get the health. So three plus. I want you to get the final kill. Or I don't want the extra card. Oh, he's gonna resend her, yeah. I'm actually almost close to winning if I just went for the idols. So that was pretty good. We gotta win with first one. Let's try to get like I've gotten like three straight five though, so that's pretty good. Ah. Alright, so thank you all for watching. Um I hope you subscribe if you like this content. Like the video if you enjoyed, comment below, whatever you wanna say, and I will see you all next time. Keep on scrolling everybody.